Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to learn how to accurately compute moving average convergence divergence or MACD or MACD parameter in Python. First I'm going to explain you the main idea behind the computation process. Namely, you need to compute the shorter and the longer exponential moving averages. So what you can see on this graph this line, the red line, is the stock price. Then, the blue line over here is the 12-day exponential moving average of the stock. And the purple line is the 26-day exponential moving average. Now, the MACD parameter that you can see over here, the black line, represents the difference between the 12-day exponential moving average and the 26-day exponential moving average. The red line on this graph that you can see over here represents the signal line and this signal line is computed by again computing the exponential moving average but this time of the MACD time series. So the red line is the exponential moving average of the MACD signal and usually traders use the nine day exponential moving average to generate the signal however you can choose any value that you wish so you can even change these values if you want to have a shorter time scale or longer time scale finally the bar graph that you can see over here represents the difference between the MACD signal and the signal to repeat, the bars represent the difference between the MACD time series and the signal line. As always, I have created a post that nicely summarizes everything that I will be explaining in this video and the link to this post you can find in the description below. So, the first step when defining the MACD parameters is to define the periods. So this equation represents the definition of the MACD parameter. EMA is the exponential moving average with the period P1 of the time series X of K. So the MACD parameter is just the difference between two exponential moving averages where P1 is usually shorter than P2. Okay. Once you have computed the MACD parameter, you can compute the signal by simply performing another exponential moving average of MACD however this time you choose the period of P3 and bars are finally the difference between MACD and the exponential moving average of basically your MACD parameter so this is the signal finally okay uh, in the sequel, I'm going to explain you the Python code that I use to generate these graphs and uh, I'm going to basically give you a few brief comments on how to improve these graphs and how to uh, nicely select the fonts, etc. So here is the code that I use to generate the graphs that you have seen in my previous slide. And uh, as you can notice, I'm using the spider Python environment why I'm using the spider Python environment? Well, because this environment reminds me of MATLAB and it's very easy to execute and to debug the code. So the first step is to raise the workspace. So I'm going to type the reset and type yes. Then let's clear the screen. Perfect. So the first step is to import the standard libraries. We're going to import the pandas, numpy, plotting library and the pandas data reader library that's used to download the stocks from internet. Next we define the MACD parameters. They are the short period, the long period and the signal period. I'm using the standard combination of 12, 26 and 9. The next step is define the dates for downloading the data. So I'll be looking at the stock prices from 1st of January 2020 to 28th of January 2021. The next step is basically 
to define the file name for storing the data because I'm going to download the data, I'm going to store the data on my hard disk. The next step is to define the symbol of the stock that you are looking at. In my case, I'll be looking at Costco. And finally, with this piece of code, I'm going to download the data from internet and I'm going to basically load this data into the file called data. However, this code does more than that. It basically checks if you have previously downloaded data. So this try and catch or try accept Python block first tries to read the data from the disk if the file is available then this piece of code will be executed. However, if the file is not available on the local disk, then we are going to download it from internet and we use this code line to download the data. So let's inspect the data. This is the head. These are first, first few rows of our downloaded stock data. We can see high price, low price, open price, close price, volume, and adjusted close price. So let's plot the data. Here's our data. And let us isolate the closing price. Great. Now our closing price will be stored in a time series. The next step is to compute the short and long exponential moving averages. So we are going to use the pandas exponential moving averages functions. And in one of my previous posts, I explained how to do that. And in the interest of time, I'm not going to repeat this. You're simply calling this function by isolating the adjusted close price and then calling the EWM function, specifying the short period and computing the mean. Finally, once I execute these two code lines, I'm going to define my MACD parameter and then I'm going to define the signal line. And at the end, I'm going to define my bars. With these two codes, li lines of code, I'm basically going to get the values for my bars and I'm going to do some formatting over here. So let's execute this. Perfect. Okay, and finally, with this context manager with plot style context, I'm going to plot the data. So why I'm using this with? I want to make sure that the parameters that I'm going to set for plotting are going to only be locally set. That is, they're not going to be globally set. So for example, if I execute this code again, these parameters that are being set over here will not apply to another piece of code where you will plot something. It's a good idea always to isolate locally the parameters. So let's run this and let's see what do we get. We get the, the results. So here are our results. You can nicely see the 12 days exponential moving average. You can see 26 day exponential moving averages then you can see the MACD parameters, you can see the signal line, and you can see the bars. Okay, that will be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like this video, please support my channel or at least subscribe. Thank you very much and have a nice day.